so uh, in the last uh, two classes, uh, we saw uh, uh, inverter static uh, characteristics and then we saw the uh, inverter dynamic uh, characteristics. Uh, today, uh, what, what we are going to see is uh, CMOS uh, static logic circuits, uh, more complex circuits. Okay. Uh, uh, so if you see here, uh, static complementary on a, uh, on a CMOS circuits, CMOS stands for complementary uh, MOS. Okay, so I shouldn't have written complementary, but this, this C stands for complementary, right? So it has got an uh, pull up network uh, and it has also got an uh, pull down network, right? So it, an uh, static CMOS has got a pull up network as well as a pull down network and it has it can have uh, any uh, n number of uh, variables right so uh, what the pull down network basically does is uh, for an uh, uh, when you uh, uh, have an uh, specific inputs say say a function is uh, not defined you have for certain combinations of the input the function uh, f has to be zero and for certain other uh, input combinations the function has to be uh, f so what the pull down network does is for for those conditions for which the uh, for those input combinations uh, for which the uh, output has to be zero in that case the pull down network will be activated and the pull up network will be deactivated and this uh, uh, voltage out here will be a uh, brought to zero right so this pull down network is made up of uh, nmos devices uh, because we have uh, seen in our earlier class that uh, nmos is a uh, perfect transmitter of uh, zero so that is why we use an uh, nmos devices out here right and uh, whenever uh, for those input combinations for which the output needs to be uh, high uh, in that case the uh, pull up network will be activated uh, and then this VDD uh, will uh, charge through this uh, PMOS through the pull up network and this output will go to high in that case pull down network will be uh, off right and and since uh, uh, we need to uh, charge this output node through uh, vdd and we know that uh, pmos is an, a good transmitter of one so this pull up network is made up of uh, pmos devices out here right and uh, like an inverter at any uh, given time like either the nmos or pmos will be switched on uh, in the same way uh, here into if I see this as an uh, one single circuit, then uh, when the pull down network is activated, there will be no path between a uh, VDD and output. And similarly, when the uh, pull down a uh, pull up network is activated, there will be no path between the output and the ground. Some end transistors might be on, but uh, no, the, 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 there will not be a direct path between this and here. Similarly, uh, here some uh, when when the pull down network is activated, one not PMOS might be on, right? But but there will not be a path between VDD and ground. Okay, so this is how a static CMOS is implemented. Again, the advantage out here, like an uh, no, CMOS a for any CMOS circuit, there is never a direct path between VDD and ground. Okay only during transient conditions there will be a path between VDD and ground okay uh, otherwise there is no uh, direct path between uh, VDD and uh, ground okay so uh, this is how an uh, static CMOS looks like so it will become uh, very clear as we uh, move ahead uh, so let us uh, first see how an uh, NAND gate requires to be uh, implemented right so this is one of the universal gates now if you see the NAND gate a uh, true table is given here so for one one it is zero for all other functions uh, it is one so uh, how to design this okay now let's understand the concept of uh, designing you know, complex functions first of all we make an uh, true table and we find uh, where is the zero here first we need to uh, design the pull down network so we start by designing the uh, pull down network here we find it is a uh, zero out here so for an uh, once you understand the concept for the particular NAND gate so it, it becomes uh, simple for uh, complex functions right so here you will find uh, this is zero out here right these are all ones so pull down net for the pull down network it is now uh, a, a a b right a and b both have to be one for this to be zero so uh, when it is an and a and b will give you an 
uh, output 0, right? And AND, any AND operation will be implemented in series and any OR opera, uh, operation will be implemented in parallel connection, right? So, this is A and B. So, I have uh, two transistors which are in series now, which is connected in uh, series out here, right? So, when A is 1, B is 1, both this NMOS will be on and the output will be uh, grounded here, right? So, that is how I implement the pull down circuit. Now, what about uh, pull up circuit, okay? So, uh, I am not going to take these ones and implement a function out here, okay? No, that is now I am not going to do it. What I am going to do is, if you see here, this is A dot B, right? So, a uh, pull up network will be an inverter. So, I put an A dot B bar, right? If I take A dot B bar, I will get A bar plus B bar, okay? I will get A bar plus B bar. Now, this is an OR function, A bar B bar. So, I have an A and B. I have used a 2P MOS here. So, straight away, I get this circuit. Now, you might be uh, asking, wondering, it is A bar B bar. Why have no, I have not used A bar B bar? Because this is an, a P MOS network, right? So, if I give A, this will be switched off. If I give A bar, this will be switched on, right? So, automatically that bar has been uh, taken care of uh, by using uh, PMOS here. So, I have used this uh, PMOS circuits, okay? Uh, although we will uh, discuss uh, these sizing in detail uh, in the next few slides, but let me, uh, since it is written out here, let me mention to you. Uh, so I, because these two uh, NOR gates are in uh, series, so I, if, if, see, if W is the width of a uh, single in Water, I will use an, uh, 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 two W here so that the net resistance here is same as that of an uh, inverter, right? So that is why I have used a uh, two W here, a uh, two W here. Now, so that the net resistance here in the pull down is same as that of an uh, inverter, right? So this is now uh, for an uh, PMOS. If you see here, right? Uh, if if you see, there is only uh, one. Uh, path here, one path here, they are in uh, parallel. So, uh, in, in the worst case scenarios, I have to uh, think about the worst case scenarios. In the worst case scenario, only one transistor might be on, right? So, both will be on, that is uh, okay, that is a better option, but there could be an uh, in a case where only uh, one is on. So, it should be, uh, you might be thinking it is one, but for an inverter, I take W and 2W. Right, so uh, so so if you that is because the PMOS is uh, generally uh, slower, so I take W and two W. So that is the reason I have taken here two W and two uh, W. Right. So for an inverter, it will be one and two W. So this will have uh, similar delays to that of an uh, inverter. Uh, is it okay? Yeah, Avinash. Uh, should the uh, inputs for PMOS uh, here should be A dash and uh, B dash? No, because this is PMOS, right? So, already that, that dot is taken care of here, right? Now, let's see. Uh, let us take a uh, condition, okay? Uh, uh, if I take a uh, 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 0, 0, right? 0, 0. Uh, both of these will be on. Zero, both of this will, the bottom will be off. Both of them will be on 0, 0. So, you will have uh, output as uh, 1. Is it working fine? For for uh, 0, 0, I have to get. So, so if I take a 0, 1, 1 will be off and 1 which is 0, will this will be uh, switched on. Right? So, you will uh, find. So, because I do not have to uh, cater for this bar because I am using an uh, PMOS, okay. Uh, now, is it okay with all of you? Okay, uh, good. Uh, so, if you keep asking questions, then uh, my pace will be okay. Otherwise, you know, automatically, okay, uh, it will uh, the frequency will uh, uh, increase. Okay, why uh, NMOS is uh, two W? Okay, two W. Let me go back here. See, uh, if I uh, design a uh, simple inverter. Uh, generally, I uh, will have uh, W here and 2 W there, okay. Uh, w is size of an inverter, okay. This is W with respect to an inverter, okay. That is why I have written W here. W is inverter. For an inverter, I will have W and I will have 
uh, 2w in the pmos okay uh, say so so that w comes from the uh, uh, no, from the inverter okay for a basic inverter now as compared to the if i have to have an uh, delay of this same as that of inverter then i will put 2w 2w here so that now this total uh, no, uh, no, uh, pull down time will be same as that of an uh, no, uh, inverter is it okay so inverter is 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 the benchmark for delay okay generally uh, when uh, no, we take an uh, no, uh, inverter uh, as an benchmark because uh, no, we are going to make complex circuits now to, for, for everything we take uh, an basic inverter as an uh, that is a uh, basic small uh, smallest block which can come in a uh, path so we generally take uh, inverter as an uh, basic uh, reference benchmarking reference okay okay so uh, for nor uh, it should be w yeah yeah i'm i'm coming to that aman yeah i'm, I'm slowly going to uh, come to that right and now this is how an uh, nor gate is implemented now uh, if you see uh, i write the truth table now if you see here in the truth table there are three zeros out here so i have to implement an uh, right uh, no, uh, pull down network now if it is a is for a equal to 1 uh, or b equal to 1 or both it is 0 that means it is a or b so i have put two transistors in a uh, parallel out here right and since there is only uh, one uh, right, in the in the worst case this i i i should not consider these as uh, parallel uh, no, two and put w by 2 because uh, in the worst case only one of them might be pulling it down so so catering for the worst case i am going to put w w here okay now what about the uh, this network if you see here a uh, or b i put an uh, no, inverted above that so by de morgan's theorem it will become a dash and b dash right so that means this is going to be in series so 2 pmos is in series uh, and this uh, inversion is taken care of already because of the uh, pmos uh, and then uh, we have uh, 4w because now this this is coming in series so 4w in series with 4w the net resistance will be right now uh, corresponding to 2w so uh, th that is why we have put uh, 4w to 4w here uh, is it okay till here uh, uh, a or b is equal to uh, 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 what is it? I didn't uh, get it. A or B is equal to 1, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, it is not 4W in C. Uh, this is the width, right? If you, uh, uh, this is the width. The resistance will be proportional to 1 by 4W, right? So, 1 by 4W and 1 by 4W. So, you'll have to uh, look it at that. W is the width. Right? If you have larger width, the resistance will be no, uh, 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 lower okay uh, let me uh, explain the concept of uh, w more w less resistance yes correct with respect to an inverter right now uh, here if you see here uh, a, a standard inverter okay will have an width equal to w okay uh, that that will be uh, w and the pmos will be uh, 2w for a standard inverter right now for this circuit uh, to have a, a, del uh, no, a delay uh, corresponding to an inverter it, it should have the same delay as that of an inverter then i have to keep 2w width here uh, uh, is it okay Preeti? right and uh, similarly uh, th these are parallel uh, these are parallel but i don't add these two as uh, consider these two as parallel uh, because in the worst case scenario only one path will be activated so since for an inverter the pmos is 2w uh, i will have this also as uh, 2w each of them so i have to always scatter for a uh, worst case uh, sizing okay uh, similarly uh, here also so uh, the series connection means uh, yeah uh, for a series connection uh, the uh, it is like you know, uh, 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 like uh, the resistance is going to get added up right right so it is it is like uh, resistance is here 1 by uh, proportional to 1 by 4k 1 by 4k uh, 4w 1 by 4w so it will become an uh, if you uh, uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 you it will become 1 by 2w so that means this effective width is now a uh, 2 right uh, how wl relation of pull up and pull down 
yeah, yeah. too many uh, questions. Okay, let me take uh, one each. How W by L? Uh, okay, uh, just pause your questions for a while. And there's so many questions, and then I'll take on. How W by L? A relation of a pull-up and uh, what is it? In a uh, pull parallel of P MOS and N MOS. Okay. Uh, uh, Aman, can you just uh, switch on your mic and say uh, uh, how W by L pull up and yeah. Yeah. So, uh, sir, we have seen we we have seen the W by L relationship uh, for the inverter, right? Yeah. So, where uh, both for the speed side as for for the uh, symmetric, uh, it 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 should be double or basically uh, yeah. two point five or the, three times. No, no, right? not that. Uh, uh, yeah, but the L we keep it constant. W. Okay, we are talking only about W. Assuming yes, L is yes, going to be yes, constant. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, L is constant. So the, yes, correct. So <clears throat> so in that case, uh, so. Uh, so, uh, are we going to see the same similar kind of characteristics for the uh, NAND or NOR, uh, where, with, where it shows the how the PMOS is in uh, is in series in one case and the NMOS and uh, the parallel and the vice versa for the uh, the other 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 case? So, is is that be, uh, will be covered or it just uh, just we have to you know uh, learn it like that only? Uh, no, yeah, uh, we are going to uh, see uh, how we are going to uh, size it uh, very soon. Okay, so let let me uh, do one thing. Uh, we we are uh, after this we are going to uh, come to sizing of complex gates uh, after uh, three four slides. So uh, we all the sizing issues and uh, uh, we will uh, take it uh, uh, after uh, ten uh, uh, or after ten minutes. Uh, in case you still have, I will uh, take down all these questions again. Okay, uh, there are several ways of uh, sizing these things. I'm going to uh, cover all of them. Okay, there are four or five methods of uh, sizing this. Okay, uh, I'm going to discuss that now. Uh, later on okay i'll take all these questions uh, subsequently right okay uh, now uh, let, let's just uh, try and understand uh, uh, recollect you know, uh, what was a body effect right body effect is uh, so like in, in in the nand case in the case of nand gate uh, there is there could be a possibility that this voltage is uh, 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 higher than the ground then we said that the this threshold voltage will uh, increase right this we learnt in the one of our uh, first class uh, essentially uh, uh, right somebody had a, a doubt then also uh, essentially uh, what happens is uh, you have an uh, a source voltage which is uh, greater than the body voltage out here so in that case you will find uh, this is n uh, this is p here so there is an uh, reverse biased junction here so that will cause an uh, depletion layer here now uh, that uh, depletion layer is nothing but an reversed biased in a uh, 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 NP region so when you apply a gate voltage here you will have to uh, now overcome that depletion uh, now the dip because if you keep giving higher voltage at the source uh, right uh, now or for that matter for that drain the depletion layer will increase so that will uh, increase the uh, threshold voltage right because the depletion will now if you see that uh, if you have seen that an uh, equation uh, there was one right De depletion layer component also in the uh, vth function right so that depletion layer increases okay and because of which the threshold voltage uh, increases okay now uh, there was one uh, doubt that uh, again we when we talked about uh, BIDL uh, we said that when we increase the source or the drain voltage then the threshold voltage decreases okay now uh, in this particular case what happens is when you increase the source and the drain voltage then this depletion layer change actually uh, comes into the channel region and it decreases Increases the length of the channel, right? And uh, that uh, that in fact an uh, increase that you can uh, say it increases the threshold voltage, right? Here the channel length is getting uh, decreased because of the uh, voltages which is available in the source and the drain. So this phenomena is not uh, really uh, seen in uh, uh, long channel devices because uh, uh, the channel itself is very very long. So the small effect will uh, uh, not be seen there. So in a long channel device so when you increase the source voltage here you will find the threshold voltages slightly uh, increasing whereas in a short channel uh, devices when you uh, increase the source voltage two things will happen there uh, one 
there will be an because of dbil the the voltage threshold voltage will decrease because of the body effect the threshold voltage will increase so the net result uh, uh, depends on the various conditions right so in in long channel yeah due to uh, d by a so in in i i'll show these things through uh, simulation also uh, if time permits uh, today itself uh, towards the end of the class the or uh, when we see uh, when we have an uh, revision class just before the mid sem uh, in that i will uh, show in, in cadence it is in, in lt space it's not uh, these effects won't be visible much but in cadence you, know, you can uh, clearly see uh, these things uh, so i'll i'll show uh, show these these effects there and i'll clear your doubts okay uh, now if you see here uh, in in a uh, two input nand gate if you see here okay now it says ki the vtc curve or the noise margin uh, margin is uh, pattern uh, dependent okay what it means like if suppose uh, both a and b are uh, zero right in this case both these pmos transistors will be uh, switched on okay and now if you see when a and b are getting uh, switched on right so now you have these two transistors working in parallel and these two transistors working in uh, series obviously the pmos is much stronger right if you, if a and b no if you see here and that is why uh, this vtc curve it is uh, shifted towards the uh, right because uh, a and b are to, uh, to, together moving from uh, 0 to 1 right so that is the reason uh, this this is shifted towards the uh, right right now if if it is if you take the other conditions now uh, suppose uh, let let's assume an uh, uh, a is 1 right if uh, a is 1 already 1 and only b is moving right if a is 1 this pmos is uh, switched off and this is uh, switched on um, then you have only uh, this b so this is switched off so this is off this is switched on so you can say uh, only m4 and and uh, m1 is now going to uh, like b is now changing from uh, 0 to 1 so you have this uh, green dotted curve right now because now this is only uh, one transistor here right so there is no two P P pmos so pmos has become weaker so you will have uh, this curve the green curve now if you take one more uh, condition wherein uh, i i have an uh, uh, b as one already right so so this is off so m3 and m2 is going to be now a is changing right now when uh, a is changing right when a is changing right then this curve will also it, it should have been uh, to totally merging with this okay but it is uh, slightly uh, uh, on towards the right okay this small this is not a very big displacement very small displacement that is because uh, because uh, this suffers this m2 suffers from uh, body bias okay so the threshold is lower out here if the threshold is uh, lower obviously this uh, no threshold will become higher okay because it suffers from uh, body so uh, that is why uh, no, this threshold is higher so this curve has moved slightly towards the right is this uh, aspect clear to all of you but you can for all practical purpose you can consider these to be close but there will be a huge mar margin between uh, these okay this will be very very close to each other is it clear to all of you yeah let me uh, repeat this no problem right so now i take a condition where a is equal to b is equal to both are initially zero so both of these sum are off both of them will be on right because a is zero right and they are moving together that means both these pmos are on and both these are moving together that means you can say the pmos both these transistors are in now parallel okay operating in parallel right so it means it is an, a stronger pmos now and hence this curve moves towards the uh, right right yeah is it okay with uh, everybody yeah so because now both are moving on now i take the second condition where uh, uh, a is already one okay a is one means this m3 is already switched off it, it is an off condition so m3 is not there and m2 is like a short circuit out here 
right? M2 is like an uh, short circuit here. Now, uh, only uh, no, this, no, so you can say it is an inverter consisting of only M4 and M1, right? Then it, so I get this uh, green curve, right? Now, the third condition is where and now a B is 1. So, M4 is now switched off and, and this is short. So, only uh, A is being uh, switched on, right? A is being uh, switched on. Now, what happens is M3 and M2 works like an uh, inverter, right? Now, if M3 and M2 is working like an uh, inverter, uh, what happens? You will find that now, uh, again, this should have followed this, but then M2 suffers from body bias condition. That means the source is not same uh, uh, potential as that of ground. So, this VT is slightly increased and you will find this is uh, slightly uh, displaced. Okay, but 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 this, this can be neglected in fact. Okay, is it okay with all of you? Is this aspect clear to you? Okay. Uh, now uh, you might uh, say, if you, if you are all uh, clear, I expected somebody to uh, ask uh, what means the strong PMOS means the width is more. Okay, and it can pr give more current. When I say strong PMOS, that means the width is more, and it has got a higher uh, 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 current capacity. Right? When they become in parallel, they become stronger. Right? Okay. Uh, no. So uh, so far a uh, same circuit multiple VTC is possible. Uh, yeah, that's what it says. Noise margin are input pattern dependent. Noise. No, because noise margin is what, right? The slope here from 0 to 1. So noise margin. That's why I called noise margin. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I thought uh, you will ask me, sir, uh, in this particular condition, when uh, B is equal to 1, right? Uh, this potential will be 0. Right, this potential will be zero. Right, B is on. So, so I am telling A is changing. So, since this is zero, right, there should not be any body effect here. Right, this is also zero because this B is already switched on. Right. So, uh, uh, when I thought about it, and I even and I was also pretty uh, confused. Uh, then uh, I did few simulations and uh, cadence. Then uh, what I uh, saw is, right, and, uh, int is not zero. Yeah. Yeah, int will be 0 initially, int will be 0 initially when b is here, int will be 0, but as I increase uh, the input a, right, there will be some current which will flow from here and because of some uh, 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 definite on resistance here, this voltage will go high. So, when I did a simulation, you saw this current is increasing when uh, uh, and then you will find the int voltage is also increasing. Obviously, for a few uh, millivolts only, it is coming up to uh, 2.2 uh, uh, millivolt. This was for 45 nanometer. Uh, but uh, whereas, when I did for uh, for uh, no, 45 uh, for uh, one micro when I increase the width this went this uh, voltage V int went up to a few uh, millivolts around uh, uh, 20 millivolts I think 12 millivolt or 20 millivolt okay I'll show you those simulations okay uh, some videos will be there for uh, no, because this is an P MOS, this is an N MOS, it is an perfect conductor of zero so it will pull it down to zero for static conditions this will be zero Okay, so uh, if I see here for static condition, it is zero. Only during transition, when when A starts now conducting, this voltage will go high. Okay, and then again it will come down to zero. Okay, so that is the uh, reason. Uh, now uh, and 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 that is the same case uh, for uh, delays also, right? It is also uh, pattern dependent. So if I uh, take uh, this condition where uh, A is equal to B is equal to 1 and uh, both are changing to 0 uh, simultaneously, right? In that case, if I go here, both these transistors will try to simultaneously pull this voltage to uh, up position. So, I will have the least delay here, right? So, you A equal to when both a and B are going from 1 to 0. In that case, both the PMOS uh, uh, operate in parallel uh, together and then this output voltage and uh, so the delays will be. So, in a, uh, so uh, just in a nutshell, if you see here, so whenever I say uh, the, uh, the delays are also pattern dependent, right? So, when I characterize an uh, NAND gate, so uh, I have to cater for the worst case scenario. So, this is the worst case scenario delay, right? Similarly, 
uh, here also this is the worst case noise margin figures and all so you have to uh, cater for uh, those also when you are characterizing any gate for that matter okay so there could be uh, pattern uh, dependent okay that's what i wanted to uh, convey right now uh, if you see here the sizing of a complex gate and how to do the uh, sizing right now if i say here the first uh, there are several options the first option is a uh, shortest path first sizing okay now uh, shortest path means now here if you see here in the n mos what is the shortest path this is the shortest path here i have the in this path there are two transistors in this path there are uh, two transistors so this is the uh, shortest path and now i will keep it as one okay one means one indicates it is same as that of an uh, inverter right and uh, so i put here one now uh, here if you see the next two paths there are uh, uh, two in in this path there are two in this path there are two okay i will never take these two as a parallel okay because uh, worst case scenarios always have to be catterford so uh, this is the worst like uh, this could be one case this could be other case right so this has to be uh, uh, no, taken as two two and and two out here now if i uh, come to the uh, pmos here the shortest path is this right four four so i put four here i put a uh, four here right because the net has to come to uh, two right for an inverter it is for an inverter it is one and two right for pmos so now four four now in series will that that will become a uh, two right there is so uh, effective width will be will be a uh, two only right because the effective resistance is going to increase so with this effective resistance is going to reduce so i put a uh, four four here uh, having put four four here now i'll have to have an uh, four here so i put eight eight here so uh, this is the uh, no, uh, way i uh, do the uh, sizing uh, is this uh, clear to all of you uh, all those who had some doubts on uh, sizing is it okay this method okay uh, now uh, having done that let let's see you know, uh, total uh, P, uh, pmos and uh, uh, transistors uh, no, how much is required so you have uh, uh, 8 uh, 816 uh, plus 824 okay so this is the total uh, uh, width of the pmos right and now uh, what about the uh, shortest path okay shortest path is this 4 and 4 so you will have uh, shortest path is in a uh, uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 uh, resistance is uh, beta into now so i take uh, beta is equal to uh, 2 for pmos right uh, so uh, uh, so 2 into uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is uh, 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 is is 1 by 2 and i multiplied by 2 so it is same as that of an uh, inverter right uh, is it okay uh, beta is an uh, i take beta is equal to uh, factor of 2 uh, to compare it with the uh, 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 right uh, the uh, resistance of an uh, inverter okay so that is a uh, beta now if, you, if we see here uh, now 4 and 4 will uh, 2 is actually the resistance uh, of that of an uh, 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 comparable to that of an uh, uh, inverter so i take this as uh, 2 right why only uh, 4 and 8 for pmos uh, no, uh, uh, I, I did, why only uh, 4 and 8 for PMOS, right? This is PMOS, PMOS. Shortest path, this is 4, 4, right? I am taking this, right? Because I have to get uh, no, 2, right? For an inverter, it is 2W, right? So, I am taking 4, 4, so that this becomes 2. So, shortest path. Now, this also have to become 2, right? So, that is why I have taken 8, 8. This has become 4. Now, it has become 4. Now, shortest path, if you see here, it is uh, same as that of an inverter, okay, uh, here. Uh, what are the worst case worst case also 884 here okay that is also uh, same as that of inverter 88 will become uh, 4 4 4 will become 2 which is same as that of an uh, inverter right so uh, shortest path and the worst case both are uh, same as that of an inverter in this particular case that need not be same always okay so there could be uh, other cases also right uh, what about the best case now if i see the uh, best case when all these these all these three are uh, working in uh, together so this 8 and 8 uh, 4 and 4 and 4 in uh, parallel and then and 4 in series so if you see here it will become a uh, 0.475 right so that means in, a, in, in in the best case scenario when uh, everything is working fine then it is 0.75 okay of that of an inverter right uh, uh, a and d are in 
yeah a and d are in uh, series but for an uh, that is for uh, shortest path but when i say for the best case scenario okay b and c are in series that will be in parallel with a and that that will be in series with uh, d right so in the best case scenario i'll get as 0.75 right so it is obviously uh, slightly uh, i guess an uh, uh, r effective and d in parallel uh, be best case is when all the transistors are on right b and c uh, this path and this path both are working together that is the best case is that okay uh, 8 8 right and 8 8 and this path this path so if you calculate it will come as uh, 0.75 right now uh, this is not an uh, very very the best way to uh, do it okay so uh, if i ask you to do in exam please don't follow this method you are going to uh, follow this method uh, which is the worst path uh, worst path first sizing okay now uh, here initially we uh, did this was the shortest path and then we did the sizing and this was the shortest path right now uh, here we are taking the uh, worst path first right so uh, here uh, what is the worst path this is one worst path this is one path. so we put in a uh, we, this we are going to put two two here uh, two here and, and and then this is an, uh, one more path here so i put one here so in the nmos there is no difference but whereas in the pmos the worst path is these three coming together right so if these three have to come uh, as 2 finally so i put 666 six, six here right then on then it will come as uh, 2 here right so th you see the difference here now it is 666 six, six here right now what about a uh, now a is if i have to uh, compute the value of now uh, a okay this and this are in series right so that means uh, a i don't know so i put 1 by x plus 1 by 6 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 because the pmos this has this path has to come to 2 so i put 2 here so from here i get the value of x as 3 uh, is it understood to all of you this aspect how did i do the sizing because in an exam you are expected to you know, will be uh, yeah <coughs> no problem right so uh, initially here we took the worst case here right so i put four and four here and i because the uh, uh, i took the shortest path shortest path is only two were here here there were three so i took the shortest path so i put uh, four four here and i, I got and uh, because this sh in the sh shortest path i wanted an, uh, two right so i have put four four here and i uh, so i got one by four plus one by four and uh, this this effective width will come to two right if i put two four in series right uh, here in this particular case right i am taking the worst path in the worst path i have uh, three transistors here now effectively i want two w right if you see here no, w is the width which is you know if you uh, connect w in series actually the effective resist uh, effective w will come down right so i have put 666 here so it will become uh, one third of it right so, so in this path it will become uh, 2w right is this much understood yeah saranj yeah okay so now i have put here now if if, uh, if i put 666 here now i have to compute the value of a right now how to compute the value of a because in this path also it has to be uh, 2 right so i write 1 by x i don't know what is the value of a so i write 1 by x right and this is 6 i am so i write 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 because finally i have to get an uh, 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 effective w as 2 right so i put 1 by 2 right so this is like um, uh, 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 adding the resistance where the resistance is inversely proportional to the width so i write this equation and from here i get x is equal to 3 okay now the advantage of here if you see here okay so total w is uh, 21 so less area and less intrinsic uh, cap right so here if you see here it was 24 it is uh, 21 so uh, this is a uh, better way of uh, uh, no, designing the circuit okay while computing resistance why are we consider a pmos alone should not we see for nmos also no uh, see uh, during the pull up network when the output is being charged to one uh, only the pmos will be activated then the output will go to one similarly for pull down network only the nmos will be uh, activated 
so uh, uh, nmos individually each branch we will see and for an inmod inverter uh, nmos uh, the nmos is size equivalent to 1 so we are uh, putting we are ensuring that each path okay the size is equivalent to 1 whereas for an pmos for an inverter it is uh, uh, no, two and uh, individually for each PMOS, okay, the size is going to be uh, no, uh, it has to for each path it has to be uh, corresponding to 2W. Uh, is it okay? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, uh, for this analysis, should we always start with uh, NMOS? Uh, no, no. Uh, they are not they are independent of each other right for the uh, nmos path it has to be one right one with uh, one because uh, we are taking a uh, w of inverter as one right so uh, for each path it has to be a uh, one for here each path it has to be uh, two okay so uh, not necessarily you start with nmos or pm they are all uh, independent to each other nmos network and a pmos network okay so, uh, so uh, uh, please uh, make sure that uh, in, in exam uh, you are following you know, uh, this particular uh, method, right? Okay. Uh, now, if you see there is something known as uh, Elmore uh, delay, right? Suppose I have an uh, V in here, I have a resistance capacitance, resistance capacitance, resistance capacitance, right? Now, uh, if you if I try to write the uh, delay here, right? Uh, the the two. Uh, delays it like it is charging right all these capacitors so it will follow that in a, uh, in a normal uh, time constant and uh, e to the power of na, t by the time constant thing right so that time constant if you see here uh, it will be a c1 r1 like uh, for this it will be in a, a c1 because there are two resistances which is coming in so c1 into r1 plus r2 uh, for this it will be an r1 plus r2 plus right uh, ri like that right now if you if you assume all this uh, resistance to be uh, equal right uh, you can uh, write it as uh, uh, this is uh, c1 into r1 okay which is the closest to the uh, source out here uh, is R1 into C1, then uh, C2 into, you know, uh, if this resistance is same, it will become an uh, 2R2, like the one which is uh, from, uh, this is the final output node, right? Towards the final output node, uh, you will find it is, uh, uh, right, uh, a, 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 a n times an, uh, R equivalent, right? Is this okay? Okay. Uh, why is the problem here if you see here the total number of uh, transistors which will be uh, no, required total width is required and uh, more whereas uh, here uh, the total uh, no, it, it consumes lesser area okay that is the advantage okay uh, now uh, what i uh, forgot to mention was uh, if i uh, take the uh, best case scenario then it will be 0.66 okay so in this particular uh, this has got a drawback that uh, the difference between the uh, best case and uh, worst case is slightly larger uh, here the best case and so this will work uh, it is kind uh, like uh, more uh, less dependent on uh, input pattern uh, than this this is more dependent on uh, input pattern because there is a, um, a larger difference between because the, here now when all are working in parallel you will find it is 0.66 instead of 1 uh, here it is 0.75 instead of 1 so this is uh, it has got a small uh, disadvantage that it uh, creates larger disparity okay uh, as a function of input okay um, that is best case and the worst case scenario there is more difference but uh, the big advantage here is less area and less intrinsic capacity so area is a big issue and capacitance also uh, results in uh, a larger power and larger uh, uh, delays right so uh, so uh, intrinsic capacity sir i have a question yeah tell me uh, sir, for example, this uh, this output like not of D plus A dot B plus C. Let's take the invert of this invert in. Okay. Uh, I mean, are you saying something? I I, I can't hear now. Hello. 
others are you able to uh, hear or is there an issue with my hello yeah yeah tell me yeah actually i got disconnected yeah. anyway i just uh, i'm just talking about a case where where basically we have this like uh, the one you are discussing right now 3666 this one mm-hmm. so basically we are having this 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 sort of circuit in nmos side and nmos circuit could be just like the pmos circuit pmos circuit right now okay okay uh, i mean th- th- that will be a different function altogether okay. so in that in that case so uh, there would be like the worst path for uh, discharging of the ca- load capacitance would be d c and b right through that path okay. so in order to make that uh, like pull down network to be one should it be sized in a way like 3 plus 3 plus 3 like in that case 3 3 and 3 yeah, parallel yeah. to make it will be 3 3 3 yeah correct right so, so but for in, in, for in, that like like if you, you you are saying there are uh, the, in in a worst case scenario if there are three and mosses which are coming in series they will be 3 3 hmm. 3 yeah correct but we do not consider the nmos part as far as the sizing uh, right no, uh, no, that's what i am under we we consider it right no you we took not that uh, for both of these cases the nmos side is uh, same so is no, it no like no 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 i said it, it is coming out to be same but we okay. considered the okay it is coming out to be same i said right but we considered the worst case scenario only here 2 2 right okay okay uh, okay now if you uh, see here these resistances this is the source the resistance which is uh, close to the source okay this comes Uh, into picture for all these capacitances okay you got to remember that much you know from here okay now uh, if i say i have, I have a complex node here right this i am talking now we are only going to talk about the uh, pull down network okay so same is you uh, know uh, uh, applicable to the pull up network also when they are in uh, series okay so we are going to uh, understand the concept only for the pull down network timing okay we can expand that for an a uh, series pmos network also now here uh, we are talking about the uh, series uh, na um, uh, uh, nmos network now i have this uh, four transistors now the source is here and the load is here right this cmos requires to be uh, grounded here like this right now if you see here and uh, uh, tell me uh, uh, na from what uh, na we have understood uh, which transistor uh, should have uh, the least resistance uh, a or d anybody a d i am getting you know 50% and no, d d d d yeah, yeah. d should be least uh, d should be the uh, least resistance because uh, all of these capacitors at each of these nodes now uh, they have to get uh, discharged through a uh, d right whereas this transistor a okay it has to only cater for discharge of a uh, uh, capacitor uh, cl right so uh, this source now uh, uh, now although let me just mention you if it is an uh, pmos network right the one again the one which is uh, uh, close to vdd because there uh, every one will get charged through vdd one which is close to the uh, vdd re- requires to be size the maximum like it, it should have maximum width in this particular case a d should have the maximum a uh, width okay so that is known as uh, fan in considerations okay this is uh, different uh, this is just to uh, okay uh, so generally we are going to do this but if you want to consider a uh, fan in considerations then you can also uh, do this also you can keep uh, you can geometrically and uh, do a uh, sizing here right the, this so this will be the uh, will have the largest width and this will have the uh, smallest width so that is known as and uh, uh, one of the uh, way we can do the sizing okay and uh, now uh, now if you see uh, here if you keep uh, increasing the fan in right the delay keeps increasing okay uh, uh, now here like this right so it is uh, uh, so you generally restrict the uh, fan ins okay we don't have uh, more than four uh, gates if you keep increasing the gate if you see here right every time this factor it it keeps increasing by 4 or 5 so you will find that 
uh, the delays keeps increasing as you keep increasing the uh, transistors even if you have a sized it in a uh, uh, 4w still the delay will increase right because of that this capacitance has to get in a charge so it is generally we restrict the fan into right and uh, only to uh, four okay to avoid uh, these kind of uh, delays right okay and uh, now uh, this is known as progressive uh, sizing okay this is what we just uh, discussed this is known as uh, progressive uh, uh, sizing uh, so uh, the next uh, 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 method is known as uh, 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 critical path okay uh, in here uh, if you see here uh, suppose uh, 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 in this case uh, uh, this is the one which is coming uh, at the last okay now uh, this is the critical path these are suppose uh, suppose in the circuit is such that this will come early this has got larger delay so uh, is it better to keep this input here or here anybody right and on the top it is uh, better here right because uh, these will be uh, switched on so already there will be a ground available here so the moment it is switched on so this ground will be uh, transmitted so only this c will get an uh, so ground has to move from here to here uh, in this case now uh, this ground has to like here it has to the entire all these capacitors needs to be uh, discharged to zero this will not be discharged to zero in this case it is one one this c2 c1 will already be discharged because this one has come uh, early only cl requires to be uh, discharged right so you will have whenever there is an uh, critical place so you you put that uh, critical one on the top most so this is, this is uh, one method of uh, uh, doing it right uh, sir sir, sir yeah. one question yeah. one question uh, so <coughs> so uh, basically it has to be uh, discharged through the ground only right so it anyways yeah. uh, it has to be uh, the cl has to transfer to the ln1 ln2 ln3 yeah. and then it has to be discharged right yeah correct so uh, so all of all of them uh, so uh, okay so first of all is that th this is three input uh, gate anyways right yeah so uh, so yeah, i got uh, I, mean, I got your point i got your point uh, you are saying that this cl is as such okay uh, has to travel uh, by these three resistance and come to ground here right in yeah, this case yeah. also it has to transmit through the three gates yes. okay uh, that is yes. uh, fine okay but then right if you see here uh, what about these two transistors they also will start discharging only when right and and if the current you uh, know flowing through this uh, nmos is not uh, it is going to be limited right so now it it so the uh, 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 since this capacitor also requires to be discharged this also requires to be discharged in this case these are already discharged these two is it okay no but why uh, why why we are saying that this is already discharged because uh, this is one this is one already okay 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 so basically for okay basically you are saying that uh, uh, you may want to interchange the inputs uh, yeah for the critical yeah. that is what you're saying see, see it's, it's written here delay is determined by the time to discharge cl cl1 and uh, c1 and c2 whereas in this case it is delays determined only by uh, cl right okay okay okay, okay. okay. so uh, then uh, uh, another uh, method is but there is no path for discharge until n equal to 1 uh, no no uh, see uh, see if these are one these capacity these node capacitances will get discharged right even if this is off these capacitances can get discharged so this is a three input nand gate right 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 so can you so all the inputs are having the similar probabilities of having one no, or no, zero no, no. state see that's what i said uh, in a, when you make an uh, no, complex circuit there could be the different paths right when the signal is coming to this and one uh, this path is known as the critical path wherein uh, you can uh, no, right predict okay the signal will come late okay right so basically this is for inter basically to make a critical if it is uh, a critical path uh, yeah. so you can interchange uh, yeah, we can interchange the, that is what it suggests yeah right? that is what but uh, the one thing which which is to be uh, checked right so uh, <clears throat> uh, so basically you are saying that this path is already been uh, this kind of a thing is already been simulated uh, through the spice or what 
uh, 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 which one? So the the uh, these the, this part right that uh, the uh, M three uh, uh, capacitance is uh, is small and the M two capacitance is higher. Like that. So this is the this has already been characterized uh, somewhere. Uh, how how do we uh, how tool will understand this point? I mean, just wanted to. Check. No, no, no. Tool will not uh, come to know. Uh, we uh, once we know that. Uh, suppose, uh, what is the uh, delay uh, available coming uh, uh, for at, at these the signals which are arriving in these three paths? Okay, so uh, that depends on circuit to circuit, right? In, in a particular circuit. Right. If you are using an a NAND gate, then uh, the uh, uh, the critical path. Uh, I think in in one of my uh, circuits, and uh, uh, I showed one in the first uh, lecture. I sh uh, showed there will be critical path, right? In, in when the uh, critical Correct. path means where which which that particular path has got yes. maximum uh, delay, right? So that. Correct. Correct. So that is what I am saying. So basically, okay, okay, uh, I think this uh, would be. Uh, so how do we simulate? So you are saying that this simulation you can do it in uh, in the LT space also, right? That is what you are saying. This uh, can. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I didn't say we can do that. That depends on uh, com in each co every uh, circuit will have a different uh, path delays, right? So you you have to find out, you know, if all the inputs are coming same. Uh, or uh, 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 this is an, uh, uh, coming late, so that depends from circuit to circuit. When you when you are saying path delay, so it is basically not within the circuit, rather it is before the circuit that uh, yeah, input yeah, not, not, one is yeah, coming the inputs are coming from somewhere else, right? So that yes. okay, yeah, okay. okay. One doubt, sir. With this, the noise margin will it not uh, decrease if you make it the topmost? Ah. Uh, yeah uh, it, it might uh, now all these things are uh, are uh, so if you are targeting uh, that in the critical path i require uh, slightly uh, uh, improve the delay then i can do this so everything there will be some trade off here and there right so that will be there okay, okay. yeah so hi sir can you explain previous slide once again which one this one yeah this one because we concluded that the m1 should have released resistance right but the yeah. thing is m3 is going to be in like every path so i guess maybe we should uh, because m3 will come in picture almost most of the time so the resistance of this should be low right no. like we can see from the equation uh, the previous equation this, that is on this slide yeah, yeah. so this uh, just next to this next to this yeah so we can see this right so C1 is coming only once, C2 is coming twice, C3 is coming thrice, similarly C4, no, no, CL no. is coming four times. No, no, no. no. So that, C3 that, 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 is no, no, being no, no. given more weightage, right? No, no, so no, no, maybe no, no, we no. should... Yeah, yeah, let me, let me explain. This four uh, has come. Uh, where did this four come? Because we have uh, assumed that uh, this resistance is uh, uh, same, okay? This four is actually R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Right, so I have written as a four R. Okay, I assuming that I've just made an approximation. So uh, here this R one is there. Uh, here uh, this R is not there. These three R are there. Uh, here these two R is there. Here only this R is there. If I uh, go back here, if you see here, is it okay now? No, but while discharging, right? Because N MOS we are going to use for discharging. Yeah. So CL will either go from uh, go from A to C3 or A B no, 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 C3 C2. No, 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 no. C uh, this will get discharged through resistance to ground here. Okay, so it won't be discharging through C, like <coughs> no, no. A, B, C, and D are off, so we cannot go through that. Only no. A is on, right? No, 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 no. You, so we have to discharge no, no, through no. C3, the, see, right? Uh, only transfer of energy can uh, happen here, right? And uh, and if it if this energy requires to be dissipated, it it can be only have a uh, resistive path, right? So it has to go like this. Okay. 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 So I think I just have uh, one more slide before we take a break. So uh, uh, you can have this last technique in which an uh, isolating a uh, fan in from uh, fan out. Like if you see here, if I, if I connect a large CL, 
right and you will find here in this circuit this cl has to go through this entire network right so instead of that i can put an a small uh, buffer here so that you know, the cl is is uh, reduced here uh, and then i can use an uh, buffer to drive this cl so basically uh, this gate uh, now it is only an inverter so you can accordingly uh, size this inverter so uh, the the uh, fan in problems of this gate can be uh, reduced okay so this is the last technique now which we are uh, which is available okay so uh, we will uh, take an uh, it's 11:35 so 11:45 uh, fan in problem was due to this yeah. fan in uh, so fan in problem was due to the num more number of inputs which is giving rise to higher transition correct. time right correct correct, correct. so so this is one option where you can uh, reconfigure it and also uh it is uh, this cl is the one uh, which is the uh, biggest contributor here right so uh, this is one way of uh, reducing that uh, uh, this cl has got an uh, 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 so other issues will be there but if i uh, put a low cl here that will also help me that's all okay correct okay. so i will take a, a break and assemble back at 11:45 okay